Motivational gym bro got cheated on and now he hates women. Is my thesis. There is this guy on TikTok and Instagram mainly doing gym motivational content, which I can be a fan of sometimes. And recently people have started to notice it's gotten a little corny and a little angry. And it all seems to stem from some trouble with relationships. This is sent to me by German Piss Beer or Bella on Discord. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Let's take a look, see, huh? We got seven and seven. Andy, video creator, mainly relatable, and gym content. And the first one we got is the one, obviously, that did the most views, baby. Why do women always lose interest when a man loves them so much? You're gonna see this about 20 times throughout this video because he uses the same clips always, but they usually have this format. It's like him smiling, happy and then it turns dark and he's screaming at the gym screaming i mean to be fair he's deadlifting like 450 but you know calm down a little bit you're at the gym not in world war not in a world war maybe go to a more private gym for that everyone obviously said the same thing like it's because you act like this that no woman wants you or whatever um this is freaking weird um this is freaking weird what i think about it and we'll learn more as we go is that it's a bit of a generalization Obviously, it seems like he has lost somebody and has chalked it up to uh, it's because I loved her too much. And now it's kind of like, well, all women do that. All women leave because I love them too much. Maybe she just needed a little space, man. How many times you have to be left for this reason for you to chalk it up to this is always why women leave. Three. So we'll learn more, but well, this is just the first one. It got me interested. And then I clicked on his account. You soon realize that it is literally every fucking video for so long. You see like the same clips even like, I'm not like the rest, I'll never hurt you. That's what she said. You're right, you made me become. Someone completely different. Gym motivational content can be sometimes good, sometimes really corny, and sometimes bad. And I think he's starting to get into a bad territory where it's like, Fuck your ex. Fuck her. I push through pain because I fucking hate her. And that's probably a bad mindset to have, a little bit. Maturing is realizing every girl cheats. That's maturing. It's starting to feel like it might be on him a little bit. The gym motivation here is like, fuck, fuck women. It's quite literally the exact opposite of maturing, a sweeping, stupid generalization. Since you have maybe gotten cheated on, 50% of the planet are also gonna cheat on you. They might cheat on this guy, I have no idea. Maybe he has a way of just making them wanna cheat on him. I don't know. Oh my God, shut up. Does that guy ever stop talking? Ad Gunner here, I need a minute of your time. Y'all remember that one time that crazy YouTuber wanted to find my address? The guy's channel is named Gunner TV. I need his home mailing address or his physical location. He's backed up by that douchebag most critical. That was pretty insane, but luckily he failed because I use today's sponsor, Aura. You see, there's data brokers out there that sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, your email, your home address, your health records, your relatives, it's all out there. But Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submits opt-out requests on my behalf. Look at all these perverts with my information. Oh my God. If they can get Drake, they can get you. And let's be honest, your leaks aren't as flattering. Cleaning up my information not only helps me reduce the amount of spam I get, but it protects me from hackers trying to use that information to help them gain access to my social security number, my bank accounts, my loved one's information, or more important than all of that, my social media accounts. Oh, oh, I don't I don't want to think about it. It's it's horrifying. Aura is also really easy to set up so you don't have to download a bunch of different apps to get things like antivirus, VPN, password management, parental controls, identity theft insurance, and more. I get everything at one affordable price. You may already have one or two of these tools, but not having Aura is like locking the front door, but leaving the back door wide open. That's the opposite of my ex-wife. <laughs> um, so if you value your privacy like I value mine, go to Aura.com slash Gunner TV live to start your two week free trial today. Also linked in the description. That's Aura.com slash Gunner TV live to start your two week free trial. Billions of dollars in Drake didn't click the link. What's your excuse? And now back to never back down, but maybe sometimes take a break. Basically, I did more research. What this comes down to 
is that he has had some bad relationship and it brought him to this point. Literally on TikTok, I think two hours ago, he posted this. I hate Mondays. You know what I hate? Girls that party 24 seven and have their phones full with guy friends, but still think they're wifey material. Clearly he's got a chip on his shoulder. Clearly has a chip on his shoulder. And that's two hours ago. So this is kind of what he does now. This is the content he makes. But where is this coming from? Because at one point, he actually had positive content. I know I keep spoiling the cheating thing. You know, when I do these videos, guys, I write a whole Google Doc and I try to tell it narratively. I'm starting to get better at it, but say, you know, I, it takes a little bit more time. So sometimes there's little gaps in, in how I want to tell the story. You weren't supposed to know that he's gotten cheated on yet. It's been pointed out a little bit, but you guys weren't supposed to know that yet. So just kind of stay with me and pretend you don't know that yet. Pretend you don't know that narratively. It makes this better. But where is this coming from? because it wasn't always like this. He used to make positive content, good gym bro content. It's still with the same fucking clips. I mean, it's, oh, it's always the same fucking clips. First, it turns into anger, then in pain. It gets better and better. You spread the happiness and to others. And after all that, you enjoy your life to the fullest. That one I like. You're in pain. Damn, you might be angry. It still is cringe, sure, but it's better gym motivation. Get to the gym, but enjoy life. It's great. Now, this was 30 weeks ago, so, you know, we're, we're talking about last year. You know what's funny is that his old content reverses how these are portrayed. Before, it's always like, he's happy. It's like, look at me, I was happy. And now I'm fucking angry and I hate everybody. And these ones are like the angry clips. Not every day is good, but... There is something good in every day. Nice. This was also 22 weeks ago. He was in a much happier place. And then we go from all that stuff right back to most women lost a good man just because they listen to their toxic single best friends. And that's just two weeks ago. The theory and what has happened is he had a bad breakup recently, got cheated on narratively. Now I just got to this point. Now it finally has landed. Everyone in chat be like, what? You got what? You got cheated on? What the frick? This is the first time we're hearing this. Also, Gunner, you got pit stains? What the hell? What? So he got cheated on, and now his TikToks are kind of like vague posting, applying to all women in relationships what has gone wrong in his recent one. And we can tell that because there's so many fucking vague posts about it. If your ex started dating someone right after you broke up, that means the other person was there the whole time. So we're vague posting to definitely him getting cheated on. Even though this person very commonly says she never cheated. She probably broke up with you emotionally a long time ago without realizing it. She was talking, but you weren't listening. Why is it that men say they never saw it coming? I mean, we got no fucking idea yet because narratively gunner also has more plot twists coming i saw this one and i'm like okay he got cheated on clearly it's not great that he's kind of generalizing and amplifying that to all relationships but i can empathize with him at least i don't agree with it but i feel for him because then i come to find out more about the relationship he posted this on tiktok two hours ago gunner's got the hot scoop in the museum i don't know how to say that word very well in the museum of my thoughts. Ah, oh, fucking that's so hard to see. You didn't cheat on me several times with my best friend. Ooh. Ooh, why is he pointing at his dick? It's a weird picture. This one's anything but a vague post. It's very specific. This is in his thoughts all day. He's trying to tell himself, you didn't cheat on me with my best friend. You didn't do that several times with my best friend. You didn't do that. So then I empathize even more. And I'm like, damn, dude. All right, I get why you're lashing out. I mean, you know, I said before, I've been in relationships, I've been in a few, and after some of them, I went through a cringy gym phase. I think a lot of guys go through this. You break up, it could be for any myriad of, of reasons, could also be your fault, and you'll go through this cringy gym phase. And it's good for the reason of focusing on yourself. It's probably a good distraction. I don't think it's good to channel that fuck her energy into your workouts and also to make a social media page dedicated to it not great that's what i thought right then i saw another tiktok where he shows screenshots of text messages he sent to his ex and now i don't feel so bad because they kind of make this whole thing look kind of 
delusional. I don't know if he sent these texts or if they're just in his notes. He writes them like texts. All right, anyway, here's the first one. I needed time to process things, but now I'm finally ready to talk to you. You lied to me. You disrespected me. You used me and you manipulated me to the point that I'll never trust anyone again in my life. This is him to his ex, supposedly. I mean, it's his notes app, but not only that, but you messed around with her who I told you was my good friend all while you were telling me how you loved me. Now that one's confusing because I don't know if his ex cheated on him with a girl who's his friend or if he meant him. Whatever. You call that love? You're a liar, a snake, and no sense of loyalty, and you betrayed me. All I ever did was love and support you, and you was making a joke of me, and you was spitting in my face. Everyone warned me about you, but I chose to not listen. I despise you with all my being. You knew how much that you meant to me, and you took advantage of that. I'll never forgive you for this or forget. Little mean. But, you know, it's their relationship. We don't know anything about it until we learn a little bit more about it. And this is a text to her again that I'm not even sure he sent. I hope you remember what we went through. I hope you remember everything we were. All those texts and I love you more fights. I hope you know those meant everything to me. You were the reason I got up out of bed to check my phone and see if you texted. The reason I would laugh nonstop and keep smiling. The reason I ever even believed in myself. You gave me confidence. You gave me happiness. And most importantly, you gave me love. Now, for once, I'm not typing a I miss you paragraph. No, I'm typing a thank you paragraph. Thank you for the best two months of my life. Two months. Now, if this guy was 15 years old, I might excuse him being an absolute psychopath, rage demon monster, but he looks well in his 20s where a two month relationship should not drive anybody this crazy. And if it is, you are the issue. You have a problem. Even if they cheated on you, not great, but your reaction to it, that's on you. Let's keep going. Thank you for all the memories that I have now, and thank you for showing me who I am and who I can be. I love you. <laughs> it's kind of a different tone than the last one. I despise you. I love you. I still haven't stopped loving you. You have become a memory now and not a wish. I hope you think of me and you remember how badly I cared. I'm sorry we didn't work out, but I'm so glad we had the chance to be in love, and I hope you think of me and you regret walking out. You can come back, but it's over, at least for as long as I think. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's an open door invitation still, but all right. But still, thank you for showing me who I can truly be with or without you. I will never forget you as you were my best friend and my everything. I loved you like I didn't love anything else. I hope you live a good life. I imagine. So now, yeah, no, we started to put the puzzle piece together that it sounds like he has terrible attachment problems and probably drove her away, is my guess. Again, cheating, not great, but two months, maybe they didn't even like officiate it who knows let's get to the last text i don't want to be with anyone right now i need me time he's saying this to her i need to figure out what i'm doing and where my head is at because i don't want to be in a relationship right now with where my head is at because i want a healthy relationship but how can i have that when i'm not in a healthy mindset i can't be with anyone right now i'm having suicide thoughts and that's not healthy for a relationship i don't want someone being with me and having to worry if they go to bed and wake up if i'm still going to be there in the life or laying dead on the floor in the hospital with cuts up in my arm obviously wish him the best with that stuff now it starts to get very real because it's like okay this guy was probably in a bad headspace to begin with with going into this relationship probably does have attachment problems some self-conscious problems leading with you know his mindset here i'm doing comedy stuff i'm not trying to fucking get heavy with you guys but i don't want to downplay it either you know anyone who ever feels that way you're enough people fucking love you and if i even touch on the subject and don't treat it with care and someone feels like you know um not heard because i did that i don't want to have that to happen so i want to make a, a little footnote here whatever you're going through it's worth seeing the other side of it. It will get better. Okay, let's keep going. I honestly don't know what I want anymore. This year has been tough for me and I've been dealing with inner demons, so I'm not mentally mature enough for a relationship. That seems a little bit honestly reasonable. It's not you, I promise. And I know people say, oh, it's not you, it's me, but it's actually me and I mean it. I never meant to hurt you. If I could go back to two months ago, I wouldn't change a thing because you show me what I want a long-term relationship and how I should be treated and how I should be talked to. And I deserve someone who will listen to my random vents and rants and how I don't have to change for anyone but myself. Okay, that one was heavier. But to reiterate, it kind of backs up the two months thing. He says it again, and it just kind of makes this whole situation with his breakup seem a little bit more two-sided, if, if that's the right way to put it. He has his own problems, they weren't working out, and suddenly she gets with his best friend, you know? But it changed all of his content to what it is now. And the craziest sad thing about it is that he used to have good advice for the same exact situation he's in. Like I went back and you can also find advice on getting over your ex. I think he had an ex before, 
But I think this one just made him a little bit more crazy, you know? I just think he has an attachment issue that probably needs some therapy and not weights going to the gym is great it can help with some frustrations but i think that some guys get in their head that it solves everything and it doesn't you can build your life around going to the gym but it's just one pillar man you know like i'm all for bettering yourself but it's not the only way to get your thoughts out there especially when you're doing social media too i mean that can't be a good result either so let's look at his i mean his old advice too i want him to take it honestly i will never find anyone like her again i find the best version of myself and that's the right attitude to have about it. if you go through a breakup just focus on yourself just focus on yourself gets your mind off of things fantastic i will make her regret it in quotes she made a big mistake she will realize it soon enough and he says oh, she will never find a better man but back then he said nah i still wish her only the best back then he was riding Vinland Saga. There is no need to wish anyone anything bad. For friends and enemies, only the best. Choose peace instead of war. And I like this content, even though it's cringy and corny. I like that gym content. It's good. So I guess my thesis on all this, no matter what he's going through, I just don't like it shining through his content with such negativity. You know, he does inspire a lot of people. A lot of people do follow and, and you know, get motivated by gym bros. And now this is content. Girl saying, I will be by your side forever. I only want you. I will never leave you. These are quotes again. I'm so happy. And then she says, I need to talk to you, implying that breaking up. And then he captions, all girls are the same. <sighs> it's sad, man. It's sad. He used to, he used to really get it. You know, he's just in a bad space right now. All this to say that I wish the best for him. I think he should probably take a break on his content while he's being super fucking kind of misogynistic yelling at all girls because he had a bad fallout recently but all again for a two-month relationship i mean that's that's the thing i keep coming back to i mean you gotta really look at yourself you know a two-month relationship i will leave off with his own advice to himself some things break your heart but fix your vision fix your vision perfect we'll leave off on that all right sorry to get a little heavy at the end there i forgot about that text part and that kind of made me a little sad for the end i don't want to lose my main thesis which is like yeah someone just said like mental illness is not an excuse to be a shitty person and you know kind of facts especially when you're motivating so many you know people on the internet these people like may not be huge but they definitely have dedicated followings like i saw a message from a guy who was like man i gotta unfollow you and a lot of people liked it like i gotta unfollow you like you got me out of my hard times, but like, you got to let go too. <laughs> like I got over my girl, you know, that's when you related to me, but like, I I'm getting over right now. I can't, I got to stop following you. You're just making me reminded every fucking day. And that's kind of where I'm at too, you know? All right. Well, that was our segment there. I still think we're good in terms of making that YouTube video. I hope that doesn't fucking get too heavy for people. What if Gunner goes silly mode? Look at the, oh, look at this. Put a smile on that face, huh? Oh, piss hands, piss hands, plug and cug, plug and cug. Oh, look, he's drinking a beer when a child filter. Oh, 